Hello and welcome back. In this video, we want to take a look at how do you tell PF1, PF Sense, how do you tell PF1 how to get to this network back here, DevNet? That's our goal. So what I've got then is I've got, uh, I'm remoted into, this is server one. I know I jump uh, pretty fast there sometimes. Go back and look at that. So I'm down here on server one and uh, I've got a, a, a remote console to server one and I've opened in my web configure interface or my web browser to PF1. And so from, from server one, which is on CorpNet, I've connected to PF1 and now I wanna do this configuration to tell PF1 how to get to, how to pass packets over to DevNet. So here I am, I've already, already authenticated and uh, can see here I'm on, on my PF1. And we talked in an earlier video about PF1 already knows about everything on its WAN interface, which includes its default gateway and everything that's on CorpNet, but it doesn't know about that network on the other side of RTR. So let's take a look at, at how we configure that. So from the, the dashboard or from anywhere, we go to system and we go to routing. Now ch check out what's here already. If we look at what we've got here, we already have two gateways to find. Now notice that these are the default gateways and there's a, there's a huge difference here. A default gateway is if I don't know how to get to a network, then I default to use this, okay? So that's what we have here. Notice that you can select those. If we have multiple gateways and we're gonna create multiple here, you can select which one is gonna be the default. Okay, so the default gateway is, is if a, a router doesn't know how to pass a packet, if it doesn't have local knowledge of a network, then it defaults to use this particular gateway. Okay, I know, I've, I'm, I, maybe I've made that point, drove it home too much. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna add some more gateways. We're gonna add one for IPv4 and one for IP6. They're not default gateways, but they tell it how to get to, to DevNet. So the first one we're gonna do is we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it for DevNet. And so I say the interface I'm gonna use is CorpNet because that's the direction I'm going through the CorpNet interface to get there. And the name I'm gonna call this, I'm gonna say that this is, this is DevNet and I, I could put IPv4, I think I will. It might be obvious once we get it created. And then now I say the gateway IP address. So what I need to do when I do it, when I create a gateway is I, I have to think about what this network ID is because the gateway has to be on that same network. This is the doorway to go through. It's not the destination network, it's just the doorway to go through. So what is, uh, what is the IP address of the interface that I wanna go through? Well, it's the CorpNet side of RTR, 192.168. For me, it's .18.2. Does that make sense? You might, you know, you might have to go and look at the drawing and just see if that makes sense. Okay, so on my CorpNet or my LAN interface for IP version four, to get to a network, of 192.168.18.2, this is gonna be the doorway to get there. Okay, description, DevNet IPv4. Okay, let's go ahead and save that. Okay, now notice it's in the list, but also notice it's not default. If we needed it to be, we would change it here, but we don't, we don't, it's good just as a, uh, a gateway. Let's make the one now for IPv6. Okay, same thing on the CorpNet interface. We're gonna call this one DevNet IPv6. Gateway for this one, what do you think? 2620 2D colon A000 colon, in my case, FF18 colon colon two. Now, you know, yeah, you think, oh, show me that. Let me take a look at that. What we're talking about is we're talking about this interface right here, okay? We're creating a gateway that says to get to, we're only halfway through, but to get to that network, use this interface and head that way, okay? All right.
Okay, so we've got those two. I'm gonna go ahead and apply those. The next thing that we need to do now is we need to create static routes. And when we create a static route, we're gonna to have to tell it what gateway to use. So let's do our IPv4 one first. Okay, system, routing, we went to static routes. We go to add. Destination network. Let's go ahead and pick the gateway first so that we can just remind ourselves that we're using IPv4 or IPv6. So I'm gonna do my IPv4 to NebNet. So my gateway, that's, that's my gateway right there. And it's gonna be a slash 24. Let's take care of that right now. Okay. Now, I just need to give it the network ID for that network. In my case, it's 172.18.18.0. And I'm gonna call this, again, DevNet. All right, so just take a look, uh, take a minute to look at it. Destination network, where are we headed? We're headed to there. Okay, does that make sense? How are we gonna get there? We're gonna go through this, which we created as a separate step earlier. We created a gateway and then we're just gonna name it. Now, we do need to be conscientious about matching the correct subnet mask. Okay, I'll go ahead and add the IPv6 one, then we'll apply it. So my IPv6 one is gonna be a slash 64. And the gateway that we're gonna use is this one. Yeah, you're getting it, right? I'll go ahead and fill this in while I'm here. And then we just gotta put in the network ID. That look good. Okay, I always wanna check here because, you know, it'll tell me if I made something, a mistake. This is, I'm just, I'm verifying here, it's just telling me that I gotta save it. Static route has been changed. This change must be applied. Okay. All right, so now we're good. So what we have now is we have modified the routing tables of PF1 to give it firsthand or local knowledge of the, the DevNet network behind it. So we're good, we'll, we'll quit this video. We'll come back in the next video and we'll take a look at going into the firewall rules and enabling the firewall to allow traffic to come into and go out of the DevNet network. Sound good? All right, I'll see you in a few minutes in the next video.